uh, November 5th, 8.05 p.m. Tomorrow is opening day rifle season. So we're gonna go get some drinks. We're gonna head out there, spend the night tonight, be in the blind, probably. It gets light. Uh, tomorrow sunrise is 7.44 legally, and I'll double check it again. And so we're able to fire our first shot at 7.14, and we've got a big buck big boy I'll show you right here and uh he's been coming out every day every night all night and uh morning and evening so he's been hanging around we've got a lot more deer coming out but we're gonna try to put the herd on him y'all stick around so it's a little before eight o'clock got a little spike hanging out right there we're still waiting on the big boy he's messing around we usually have about six or seven will come in and eat so we're just waiting on big daddy i think he scared her thing off but we're gonna put something down that big boy hadn't come out yet we need some uh out here maybe for a meat hunt too so i got a doe and a spike lined up to get a twofer i want to give it a few more minutes if that big one don't show up we're gonna try to get us a twofer Guy right here always trying to be serious he can't have a good time so when you're sitting in the blind and nothing's coming out you don't shoot anything you find yourself telling stupid jokes laughing at the dumbest things we've been doing that all morning and no that's not what scared him off so we got at least something down to make this video we we hunted last week this pig hunt and nothing came out so after we left uh, deer were in here this morning when we snuck in. They were actually at the feeder. We watched them as we was getting in there blind. I uh, had them on camera under, under the green light. So, I don't know. I guess maybe. Uh, well, Junior here asked me if uh, they know what opening day is. I said, no, dude, they ain't got a calendar. But maybe I'm a stupid one. Maybe they do. Maybe they uh, take them little hooves and swipe month by month and they know what's going on. Try for a threefer. So it is prime time, baby. Five fifty. What was uh sunset? Six thirty. So we can shoot till seven. It was six thirty one. So we can shoot till seven oh one. I'm going to fire a warning shot. Want to see some deer? See what happens after that. Right in that white ring right under his neck. What do you think, Daniel? Think you got a good shot on him? Is it wrong for me to hope he didn't? Give it about 10, 15 more minutes and we're gonna go see if we can find him. Man, I really hope he got that thing. All right, here comes the, the trek to see if we laid him down or not. I shouldn't say we, it was his fault. Well. <laughs> huh? Yeah, they're trailing right through here. Whew. 
Yeah, let's walk behind here first. Walk the back on me, brother. Get some uh, some bonding time with Alonso. Yeah. You can see their trails, and if you see them pretty good, little bedding areas and everything with their buck walking back that old corral right there. You see them? Let me zoom in. Yeah, this little corral. They walk up behind that. And that comes up right behind our feeder. Let's see what they've been cutting right through here. Those little trails. Well, we looked and looked, me and Alonso here. Daniel's out there still looking. Ain't looking too promising. Good thing is, we look back on video. Uh, you probably already seen it already. <clears throat> Looks like he, uh, he had the right elevation. He was going right for the neck, right for the white spot in the neck. Pulled a little to the right. So right-handed shooters have a natural pull to the right. So hey, it is what it is. There's plenty of deer out here. You'll have plenty more chances. So that's hunting. You're going to run into it. It happens. It sucks, but it happens. What do you think? <laughs> You're going to be feeling that for days or what? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Plenty more deer out here to shoot, man. That was just practice, but... We appreciate you guys. Subscriptions are coming in. They're getting better and better. Hey, we got 205, 206. Man, to me, that's like 2006. Anyway, it's been a long video. I want to end it for you. You guys, uh, hopefully you're going out hunting. Maybe you're watching this in the blind too. That's what I do. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for everything you do. Like every time we tell you at the end of the video, every chance you get, wet a line, let an arrow fly, put some rounds down range. We'll see you.